Hey guys, Greg McLeod here, and uh, I'm a, <laughs> got some. I told you guys that I was gonna get in the that Kiwi Yen, and I just couldn't help myself. I just start firing off trades on Kiwi Yen. It's got a really good pattern here. I got a nice bit of support going on here. I mean, I'm just loving this setup. Especially we had negative stock market. Stock market closed. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down about 170 points or so. And uh, so um, that probably suckered a lot of people in to a possible short. And they uh, so shorts are probably going to get squeezed tomorrow. And we'll probably have a really positive open in the U.S. stock market. Uh, why? Because the buying is probably starting in, probably starting in, uh, in Asia. You might see some some positive flows, maybe some news. Uh, I mean, Nikkei is down like 126.34, but you got to figure that this week the S&P was down almost, uh, you know, like 800 points, right? And so to be only down 170 is actually a victory. So we're looking at this this trade set up now, uh, bullish on risk or risk on. The Kiwi's been beat up like like a like a redhead stepchild it's just been really taking a thrashing i'm gonna, i'm going to take i'm going to take uh, some little pieces off here and i'm looking at a 4 hour chart i like starting off with a higher time frame and that way i can uh, get a a 20 a 50,000 foot view of the market but i do like taking trades on the on the 5 minute once i get the you know, and I actually, no, I was in the short too. I wasn't like com completely immune. I went short and it hit this rock solid bit of support. Just solid support. Buyer stepped in, came down, big bearish candle. Then price came back into demand. Basically a double bottom, demand and acceleration. We got a supply line that was like broken, like cutting, cutting pieces, shredded. So we got this. This demand line and um, our supply line, supply line was broken. And then, you know, I mean, once it broke the supply line, I'm like, I'm out of here. And I knew where, where to get out, right? Because we had, you know, price was trying. I was thinking it was going to gun for this old low back here, the spike low. But, uh, you know, we didn't. We got fat finger trade. Probably, you know, price didn't really touch there. The actual close is up here. The actual low here matches this low here, right? Okay, so I'm going to start taking off some pieces. I'm like, why not? No, 3700 bucks, and I'm just clicking these off, and you can see the arrows coming up, you know. And I think there's this, this cool tool here, indicators, custom, and better volume paint. No, I wish I could find where it is. I want to... I like the old FXCM platform with the arrows and it tells you how many pips. I really like that. Enhanced deal map. There you go. There you go. Bam. Tell me. Show me. Show me my money. Show me my money. Pay me. Oh, got to stack it, baby. Got to stack it. Bam. Give it. Give me some. Give me some. Yum, yum. Oh, I'm going to take some there. I'm going to take some there. And we got, I mean, we're just, uh, you know, just kind of killing it here. Uh, let's drop down to a one-minute chart. Maybe we can fit some more. Uh, twenty, actually, twenty tick charts good. And you can see we're just taking off these trades. Now another supply line right there. And uh, don't worry if you can't see this yet. Then you know if you're not seeing it, then uh, you need you need to get some coaching. <laughs> we can you'll be able to see see this stuff too. Supply line. And well, we have a rising demand line, which is longer. Mm, seems like this demand line is a lot longer than the supply line. All right? Gave you a little bit, drop some knowledge there while I'm just making some money here. Learn and earn. Boom. Okay. Now I got these here. I got some more. I got about nine of them left. And uh, I'll wait for, I can wait for a re entry. In fact, I might, just, I might not wait. I might just say, hey, you know what? Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Now, I, there's a spread. A bit out of spread. Uh, like six-tenths of a pip. Right? 
and my take profits are automatic. They're all up there. But we have a nice consolidation. Uh, usually, what we do is we have some. If we have a triangle like that, we can create a measuring objective. And basically, it's a ruler. You're like you know, like you remember, like you're a little kid, and like your mom put some tape on the door. See how tall you were. Well, that's what we're doing here. Putting some tape on this triangle. See how tall it is, and see project in the future. And hey, right about there, right? I might might get another one in there, right? Might stack it. All right. So we're looking at. That is our target. So I go ahead and put a horizontal line there. And that's it. And watch. Okay. Well, Greg, now you're using Photoshop and you're making this stuff up because you're a scam, dude. Dude, if I'm a scam, then you need to, like, I don't know, get off the drugs if you're seeing this, if you're seeing these candles go up and me make money. You know, it's just your imagination. Just keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that when you look at your bank account. Keep telling yourself that when they, you know, when you got bills to pay and places you can't go and things you can't buy. Keep telling yourself, convincing yourself that this is a scam, okay? Because some people only feel good and can, by deceiving themselves that there's nothing out there that's better. That way they don't have to take action because it's so comfortable to stay in the box, guys. It's so comfortable to sit there and to to bash everyone else that's trying or to uh, uh you know or to go around and be a troll in other people's forms and things like that but there's people out there who are thirsty they want to learn and those are the positive people they're going to get paid and they and you see that all the time people who are positive from a positive attitude who are open and are coachable and they're learning from people that want to help you know then they usually go go up they rise, right? So we have this formation here. Lots of buying, profit taking, like I did. I was profit taking, right? And then some people say, "Hey, I want to short this. Hey, it's going to go down because you know the Dow was down today." It's like, yeah, it was down. And some of this stuff works for a while and it stops. And the key is to figure out when it stops working before it actually stops working. Because by the time the rest of the crowd wakes up and sees that, hmm, this uh, market is really going much higher and uh, they're gonna be deep in deep doo-doo. And that's a technical term. They're gonna be a deep poop because they're going to disbelieve the rally, like they disbelieve everything else. And they're gonna get taken for a ride. And they'll add more to their shorts and add more to their shorts. And meanwhile, the Forex is a stop-driven market. That means a bunch of people went short, and they got stops right here. And when that line is hit at 20, about 26, 25, 26, we're going to see an explosive rally to the upside. That's where all the stops are located, right? Think about it. If I'm a bear, hmm, price is turning around. I'll get short and place my stop a few pips above the high like it says in the book. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to get stopped out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run your stop. Okay, me and all my friends, because guess what? They're behind there too. I may not have enough firepower to take your stop out, but I'm on the side that will. Notice how your stop is getting taken out, Mr. Bear. Hey, Greg, that's not fair. How do you know that? Do you have inside information? Well, because you used to work for a bank. You're probably talking directly to the dealers. It's like, no, you're just on the wrong side of the trade, guy. <laughs> It, it, it's I do this all the time. If you you know if you really a lot of people I have people that just attend my workshops. They don't even trade. They just turn me on and just listen and laugh. You know, and that's cool. My one guy I have made dimes as I listen to you, but I I've laughed my off. You know. <laughs> Well, Greg, why are you teaching your proprietary system? I think you're just making money off of books and tapes. It's like, dude, I don't. No one even listens to tapes anymore, guy. Uh, yeah. I have a, 
I have a global trading army, literally. I have people in Greece. I have people in Germany. I have people in Russia. I have people in California, Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri. I have people all over New Zealand. I have traders who are pippin runners all over this planet. And um, it's a good feeling to be able to change people's lives. And But if you're just so focused on making your own life comfortable, you won't even know what I'm talking about. Helping people out is the, the farthest thing from your mind. And so I can't even expect you to understand. But there's those, those of you who do. I know, this, is, this one's kind of crazy. Cause I guess I have all these orders, and it's probably like going, well, I don't... Which ones do we get? Well, guess what? You lost them all these at the same time. And you won on these at the same time, right? The battle of the bulls and the bears, right? Yeah. Come on. It's 9.53. We have seven minutes before liftoff. Seven minutes before this thing blows up. Big time. 9.53. They might not even, you know, they might say, look, we got enough bears in here. We can have bear salad. We can have bear teriyaki, bariyaki. We can have um, grilled bear, stuffed bear, poached bear, bear tartare. They're luring the bears into a trap. That's what I'm saying. Bear sushi, I don't know. Now you're getting a little too far. A little too exotic, Greg. You just stayed with a bear tartare. I know, it's unbearable. Ha <laughs> ha. Sixty-eight twenty-six. Twenty-six by twenty-five by twenty-six. Remember we deal with a bid ass spread. Uh you know, the banks and market makers don't do this for, for charity. And so we are looking for our breakout. Got yeah, about six minutes before 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, very important time. Sometimes you get news releases coming out of uh, Asia. It's hard to do the the, 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 um, the announcements in Asia. They sometimes don't even give you a time. They don't tell you. They want to keep you off guard. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. We have New Zealand credit card spending, and uh, <clears throat> New Zealand, <clears throat> New Zealand, Australia, and China. They don't really give forecasts either. They they, uh, they give you the previous number and the actual, and that's about it, guys. They they don't give you a forecast. But ten o'clock, it's coming up. We got five minutes left. Before blast off, guys. Before lift off, and I think we're at the what sixty eight twenty six. I think we get about seventy so pips out of this, so I think we can get into that that sixty eight ninety area. I, I'm going to be peeling off some fifty six. Oh, they're going to hit the stops. Look at that. They're gunning for those stops at twenty seven. We're at the quarter. We passed the quarter line at sixty eight twenty five, and we're at twenty six by twenty seven. Boom, twenty-seven stops. Watch, watch, watch that line. You think that little yellow line is I drew is accidental? Well, we always put our stops a few pips above the high. It's like yeah, and that, that's where they're going. Oh, oh, your stop was hit, dude. You sank my battleship. Oh, bam, bam. Click, click. Well, I got some pound Aussie. Oh, I hope I have some, do I have any of these left? Okay, I got some. I got some. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm going to give me some. Give me some. Uh-oh. You're empty, dude. I'm all in, baby. All in. Stop run, baby. Stop run. Look, look at the stops being run. 
Oh no, I'm being stopped out. I know I'll double down. Double down. Go ahead, dude. Deutsche Bank is coming for you. Bank of America is coming for you. Citibank has got you. Credit Suisse has got, got your number. Oh, breakout. New high. New high. 30 by 31. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> mail time, mail time, mail time. You have just limited it out, sir. Yes, I know. 68.30, they're going to try. Here's the double down crowd. Hey. Here we go. You gonna give me some? I, if I had some more ammunition, I would hit it right now. Here's your supply line. Somebody's trying to sell into it. Notice how the supply line is very small. Too short. Right? And the if we look back at our demand line, our demand line is very long. Lots of demand. Will he even get to the demand line? Oh, not even. Take that. Rejection in your face. Dude. Come on, dude. You can short it, man. You can add some more to it. Oh, break out. Oh, that was a candle. It was a bunch of candles. I mean, that was, oh, there we go. If you guys liking this, give me a thumbs up. A like, a thumbs up. Show me some love. Share it with a friend. I was watching, you know, and not to, you know, put anybody down, but there was some guy, and here, God bless him, he's trying to, Show some scalping, and he just let his feed just go on for an hour of just. I mean, it was like Asia session, and then he um and he messaged me too, you know, because I already, I didn't disc I didn't I don't look for that stuff, but he messaged me. He asked me, "Hey, dude, what session do you trade?" So I was like, "Why is he asking me that?" And it was right there on the screen, right? And I probably said it, that I'm trading during Asia session. Uh, but, um, I mean, he's a nice, nice channel. It's a great logo and everything, you know. But, you know, I just, one, 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 one suggestion. Don't let your feed just go on for hours and hours. Everybody can watch their own boring ass screen. Um, they don't want to see yours. They want to see some money being made in the market. Sometimes they put some background music. I guess it's okay. But it's like, when you tune in to me and you click my video, we're gonna be making money, all right? Now my streaming stuff is kind of whacked sometimes, so you know. Um, but I do. I mean, I, I put it. I I told you guys about this trade um, in my Facebook group and in Facebook. So it's not like, oh, Greg, you know, you tell us after the fact, man. You're not cool, dude. I mean, look, I put it in here. I said, I'm a little long, right? I put it right there, right? About 20 minutes ago. Cindy, one of my, she's one of my bad pippin' runners. Cindy, Cindy got in. Cindy go. Cindy's trying to get paid, you know? Enough of the monkey stuff. She's just trying to get paid. I see my buddy Ken had a coaching call. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Time to get paid. Money, 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 money. Money. Money, 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 money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You guys see the numbers? See the digits? I'm going to upload this right after um, we click out of this stuff. And, uh, you know, just, uh, if you just if you missed it, you can replay what's going on there. What's going on? Let's get it on. Ah. Let's get it on. 
All right. Had a good talk with two of my buddy. I want to say a big howdy do to Ken over there in Michigan and also Michael in Louisiana. Big howdy do to you too. And uh, make sure if you haven't, click the link below and watch the four pillars, four pillars to six figures dot com. Four pillars, the number two, six, S I X, figures dot com. Again, that's four, the number four, pillars, P I L L A R S, the number two, S I X, figures dot com. Boom, there we go, boom, here we go. Got one left. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it disappear. Put, uh, hey, bid ass spread, come on. Market make, oh, and we got paid. Bingo. Bingo to the lingo. There we go. And we broke to the, oh, the measurement objective. 68.33. I think she goes higher. I got more to go. Right? We had, we had supply and demand zones supply lines, and we made a bit of cash today, right? So, um, again, um, I won't bore you at that, all this money making, um, but you can, <laughs> but I want to help you. I want to see, let's see my group. Now, I, and my group is probably saying, oh, well, we're going to sit in there. What do you guys do? What are my, what are my alumni? Uh, anybody? I think they're all asleep or something. I think they took the trade and then they just went in. Like, yeah, I think, uh, like, Eddie. Yeah, Eddie says, uh, I took that trade once it broke out. Trying like, thanks, Craig. Okay. That's the group, you know. I mean, they're very comfortable. They place the trades and they let it run, you know. It, you know. And me, I'm like, you know, hey, this is fun. I want I want more I want you I want you guys to be on the other side of this. It's fun. No, I don't think I want to make money. You know, money is the root of all evil, and uh, if I win too many trades, then uh uh my I don't know I might be stuck up, but I don't want to be stuck up like you. It's like <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. There's people out there who have hangups about money. If you have hangups about money, this. Vi log off now. <laughs> Delete this video. <laughs> Unfriend me or something. Because I'm about helping you make the cash, right? It takes cash to build the kingdom. It takes cash to pay your bills. It takes cash to retire. Find me a place that doesn't need cash, and uh, I'll show you a place I need to get away from, right? Unless you're at a resort where er er it's all inclusive, right? All right. So again, um, you want to um, oh, decline. Okay, all right, all right. I have people trying to call me in the middle of the video. So <laughs> no worries. All right, okay. But uh, I just want to. If you want to come to my group, I have a a private group which you can join, free of charge. It is the Forex Cash Machine group. And you can come over here, and uh, there's all kinds of stuff like trade setups and 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 um, and bits of wisdom. You meet some of the Pip and Run gang are going to be in here too, and we're going to be discussing all kinds of trades. I welcome you aboard. You, can, you know, all kinds of really cool stuff here. Come to the Forex Cash Machine, and then you can actually watch the training. And I'll put that training up here too, so you can actually see it. Or the link there. And it's going to be at the bottom too. But in case you're like, yeah, wait, like, oh, dude, I just want to watch this Four Pillars thing that Greg is talking about. I'm so excited. It's like, okay, dude, calm down, man. I'm just going to type it. Just give me some time. Four Pillars 2, S-I-X-F-I-G-U-R-E-X.com. What does that mean, Greg? Is that some type of code? No. Four Pillars means like four principles, four of the basic principles um, to help you to make six figures, like over a hundred thousand dollars. He may not say that's hardly any money, Greg. I don't think I want to do that. I think you're kind of boring and I I, I'm, I make more money than that, so why should I watch it? I but whatever, you know? You don't have to. All right. Anyway, more fans. Okay. We'll post this in here and then we'll talk to you later.
Peace and Dips. It's Greg McLeod signing out. And uh, we'll, make, we'll go ahead and get show, show you what's going on here. Yeah, guys, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aim. Making money. So $102,030.76. Okay. Lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of yen, right? Lots of Kiwi yen, right? And this thing is like rocketing like, like nobody's business. Look at that, right? So this is, this, this is not even everything. You know, once, you know, you learn all this other stuff I've got, dude, this market is yours. And it's so easy to go, Greg, is that it? Is that it? You charged me all that for this? This is easy. It's like, yeah, I know. You know, but it's the key. If you want the door, there is a key. I have the key and you want to get through the door. And um, I don't mind. I, I know a bunch of guys that don't will never, ever show you to you, no matter how much money you give them. But uh, uh, I will. <laughs> so <laughs> take advantage while you can. Uh, four pillars to six figures. Dot com right there. You can see it right there. Talk to you later. Peace and pips. Happy pipping. Cheers. Bye.